AWS has over 200 services and trying to learn them all feels like drinking from the fire hose. Trust me, I've been there. After 15 years of building cloud applications, I discovered a secret. You only need seven core services to build practically anything. It doesn't matter if you are a junior or a seasoned developer. What you will learn today isn't just a list of services, but I will give you a powerful mental framework that will help you to navigate through AWS like a pro. Every time you are going to work on the new application, you will know which AWS services are the right fit for you and which ones to avoid. In the end, nothing will waste you more time than following the wrong path and needing to start over and over again. Now, let's start building this mental map together, beginning with the first piece of the puzzle, which brings us to service number one. Imagine you are building an e-commerce application with a global user base. Your traffic will not be steady. It will spike every couple of hours when your users are back from school and work. And eventually, it will also explode during events such as Black Friday. With traditional servers, you are forced to plan for the peak traffic. It means you need to pay for powerful machines that will do nothing most of the time. It's like renting a stadium that is only full one day per year. But what if your infrastructure could automatically expand and shrink based on your needs? What if you could pay only for the computing power you're actually using? Here is where AWS Lambda comes into play. It completely changed how tech companies are building their backend applications. You write the code, upload it to Lambda, and AWS handles all the heavy lifting for you. No more messing with servers, no more infrastructure headaches. Here is what makes Lambda different than traditional servers. Instead of keeping servers running 24 seven, Lambda spin up containers exactly when you need them. Each container handles one request and then disappears. It means when your application is visited by thousands of users, Lambda will simply spin up more of those tiny virtual machines to handle increased traffic. And here is the best part. Lambda is affordable. The first 1 million requests each month are free. And after that, you just pay a fraction of a cent for additional requests. This means you can try it out without worrying that you will need to sell your kidney to pay the AWS bill. And here is one more very powerful feature of Lambda. You can deploy your code to multiple AWS regions worldwide. This means your functions can run closer to your users, cutting down response times no matter where your users are. It means you will be able to meet expectations even of the most impatient users. So now let's recap Lambda's most important features. First, there is no server administration. You don't need to worry about servers at all. Second, you pay only when you run your code. Third, there is automatic scaling and you can do global deployments. Sounds awesome, isn't it? So now you know where you can deploy your backend code, but there is still one critical piece missing, which brings us to service number two. Your API is running smoothly, but let's get real. Modern applications aren't just about processing plain text data. They are filled with images, videos, documents, or other files to deliver rich and engaging user experience. Think about your favorite social media application. Every post, every profile picture, every video needs to live somewhere. And we are not talking about few files. We are dealing with potentially millions of uploads every single day. In my early days as a software engineer, cloud computing wasn't a thing yet. Most web applications stored all the data on dedicated servers, which led to some serious problems. First, to make sure our application loads quickly for users worldwide, we needed to copy our data to servers in three different continents. In our case, it was Europe, America, and Asia. And today, it is even more important than ever. Nobody is going to wait even five seconds for the website to open. And if they need to, most of the users will leave and never come back. Slow loading times will hurt your revenue, but there is even bigger threat that could potentially destroy the entire company overnight. In 2021, the OVH data center in Strasbourg completely burned down. 
many of their clients lost all their data forever and some of those companies never recovered and needed to shut down. That's why you have to back up your data. But fortunately, Amazon got you cover here. AWS offers a service called S3, which stands for Simple Storage Service. And it has completely changed the way how tech companies store their files in the cloud. Think of it as a magic storage system that copies your files across multiple data centers. So you upload the file once and Amazon ensures that it's safely stored in at least three different data centers within the region. Even if one of their data centers will burn down, you don't need to worry. Your files are safe and accessible from two different locations. And Amazon is so confident about S3 that they guarantee the highest data durability in the cloud industry. It is 99% and 11 ninths after the decimal. I can't even say this number out loud. I'm not gonna lie, S3 costs more than a basic dedicated server but it isn't as crazy as you might think. It costs about two cents per gigabyte, which makes it reasonable choice unless you're building the next TikTok or any other storage heavy service. So remember to do the math before you use it. So now let's recap the main features of S3. It is automatic data replication to at least three different data centers, extremely high data durability, and it's starting at two cents per gigabyte. Now you know that S3 will solve the storage for you, but there is still one challenge that you need to tackle. Do you remember when I mentioned that impatient users will leave your website because it is slow? Well, even with S3, users in remote areas are going to have a frustrating experience, which brings us to service number three. Have you ever wondered how the Netflix and YouTube make videos start playing almost instantly, no matter where are you in the world? How do they even do it? The secret is something called Content Delivery Network, or shortly CDN. Instead of serving everything from one location, they copy their content to hundreds of servers around the world. Think about it when you click the play button, you are not actually connecting to servers in California or New York. You are connecting to the server that is closest to you, maybe even just a few miles away. That sounds great, but building on CDN is insanely expensive. You would need servers in hundreds of locations, making deals with internet providers, and hiring an army of engineers to run it. And this is where Amazon CloudFront comes into play. It gives you the same technology that powers streaming platforms, but at the fraction of their costs. The first time someone accesses your file, CloudFront copies it to something what is called edge location, which is a catchy marketing phrase for servers that are located next to your users. The next time someone from this area needs the same file, they will get it from this nearby server instead of traveling all the way to the United States to get it. And we are not talking about a few servers here. Amazon has built over 400 edge locations across 200 cities worldwide. This means your content is always just a few milliseconds away from your users. And here is where it gets even more interesting. CloudFront doesn't just cache your files. It can also cache or even run Lambda functions at edge locations. This means your entire web application can be as fast as Netflix or YouTube. Doesn't it sound great? So now let's recap what CloudFront does for you. It has over 400 edge locations worldwide, automatic file caching around the world, and great integration with AWS Lambda. So now you know how to make your application blazing fast. Lambda will be running your code, S3 storing your files, and CloudFront delivering everything and the lighting speed through its global CDN network. Perfect, right? Well, there is still one critical piece missing. Before users can even reach your application, they need to find it first, which brings us to the next piece of the puzzle, service number four. Think about the last time you type a URL into your browser. Seems simple, isn't it? You type something like netflix.com and the page loads instantly. What your browser does under the hood is asking a series of DNS servers where to find this website. And I mean, they will not reveal the location but the IP address of those servers. Don't get me wrong, setting DNS server 
can be simple, but it takes a lot of time to manage it. I learned this the hard way when my SSL certificate expired at 3 a.m. and the entire application went down because the browsers wouldn't connect to insecure website. And the worst part was that I needed to remember to renew those certificates manually every single year. Fortunately, today we can use Route 53, which is Amazon DNS service. It not only offers free SSL certificates, but also renews them automatically so we didn't need to worry about it. What you need to do is plug in your domain to Route 53 and forget about it. It runs on the same global infrastructure as CloudFront, and thanks to this, your DNS records are propagated to Edge locations. This means whenever you need to make changes to your domain setup, they will be populated within a few seconds. So no need to wait for hours for DNS refreshes. Sounds amazing, isn't it? Now let's recap what Route 53 can do for you. It is a managed DNS service, so you don't need to do anything. It offers free SSL certificates and DNS refreshes are almost instant. So now your users can securely access your application from anywhere around the world. It is due time to think about data processing and long running applications, which brings us to service number five. Do you remember when we talked about Lambda? Lambda is perfect for executing applications that run quickly. But what if you need to run a traditional application that runs 24 seven? Or what if your code does heavy data processing and takes hours to complete? This is where containers come into play. Think of them as lightweight packages that contain everything your application needs to run. The code, runtime, dependencies, and even operating system. But here is the thing, managing containers at scale requires Kubernetes and Kubernetes has a steep learning curve. You will need to worry about scheduling, scaling, load balancing, health checks and many other things. And this is where Amazon ECS comes to the rescue. Amazon ECS stands for Elastic Container Service and it isn't hard to guess it is what Amazon uses to deal with containers. ECS gives you two ways to run them. You can either use EC2 instances that you manage on your own or you can use something called Fargate where AWS manages everything for you. With Fargate you just tell AWS what container you want to run and how much CPU and memory it needs. And AWS handles everything for you. You never need to think about the infrastructure under the hood. Now let's recap what ECS gives you. So you can run any containerized application. It does automatic scaling and load balancing. And you have two options to run them. Fargate, which is managed, and self-managed, which is EC2. Now you know how to run any type of application in AWS, but there is still one challenge that you need to solve. How do we safely store and manage sensitive information like API keys or database passwords? Which brings us to the next AWS service, service number six. In this matter, applications are similar to human beings. They also have secrets, either API keys, database passwords or access tokens. And let me tell you the scary fact. According to GitHub, over 13 million secrets got exposed in public repositories just in 2024. We all have been there. You're working late night, trying to get something deployed and you accidentally push credentials to GitHub. Or even worse, you hard code a database password directly in your code. And here's where Secrets Manager comes into play. Secrets Manager is Amazon's way to deal with secrets. Instead of hard coding your credentials in your code, your application asks Secrets Manager for them at the runtime. When your Lambda function or ECS container starts up, it will automatically get the secrets it needs. Since Secret Manager is all about safety, you can control which applications and services can access which secrets. It means extra protection in case one of your services gets exposed. Now you understand how important it is to use Secret Manager, but let's recap the main benefits anyways. It securely stores sensitive information for your applications. It's integrated with all AWS services. 
you have a granular access control. Now you know how to run any type of application and manage their secrets, but there is still one big challenge for you, which is how to even deploy your application to AWS, which brings us to service number seven. Now you understand how powerful AWS is, but unfortunately with great power comes complexity. Setting up all those services in the AWS console is a nightmare. It not only takes time, but it's also error prone. One wrong click and your application will break. And let's be honest, nobody wants to spend their entire day clicking through AWS console, setting up multiple environments for staging, production, and maybe even development. And this is where CloudFormation comes to the rescue. Instead of clicking buttons, you define infrastructure as code. You write down exactly services you need, and when you need to set up a new environment, you just use the same file to create it. But unfortunately, I have a bad news for you. CloudFormation has one big issue. It uses YAML files to define infrastructure setup, and obviously, YAML files aren't as fun as writing real programming languages. And that's why Amazon created a powerful tool called AWS CDK. Amazon knows that software engineers love programming, so they made a tool to replace the YAML files with proper programming languages. It doesn't matter if you know only JavaScript, Python or Java, you can use your favorite programming language to deploy your applications to AWS. And that's why you're supposed to watch this video to find out how AWS CDK can bring your career to completely next level.